Trey Ray Dell, a congressman, Democrat, uh, African American, has been busted with cocaine. It was a sting operation. He asked a couple of the agents to come to his house and do cocaine with him. Well, obviously he's got to go. Uh, not only that, the agents then offered to sell cocaine to him, and he accepted, and he was busted in the sting operation. They knew this because he'd been buying drugs uh, earlier. So I I'm sure everyone agrees. Look, you can't play favorites here just because he's Democrat or he's black. He's got to go. It's cocaine. We can't. What is this, Rob Ford? We can't have a congressman in America doing coke in the middle. So no, no, he's got to go. Now, I know the conservatives are not going to change their mind when you find out that Trey Riddell actually is not African American or a Democrat. He's a white Republican. So, and by the way, I'm sorry to Letty McAllister, who <laughs> picture we used there, who's a great, actually one of the few reasonable black Republicans in the country. Show me the real Trey uh, Riddell. His name is Trey Riddell. Okay, he's a congressman, Republican from Florida. And that sting operation happened. To his credit, when he was busted, he's like, oh, no, you totally got me. Here's my cocaine. He brought him to his apartment, gave him all the cocaine he had, and said, yes, uh, I'm guilty, okay? So he says, look, I struggle with the disease of alcoholism, and this led to an extremely irresponsible choice. Now look, that might be fair, and we might agree with that, and, and, and we might even argue that cocaine should be legal, and et cetera. I'm not sure that congressmen should be doing cocaine while they're on the job, okay? But maybe it should be legal, and I don't know what kind of prison sentence, et cetera, that he should get. But do you really believe that in that same Washington, D.C., forget congressmen, if they found an average African-American guy from Southeast D.C., and they did this sting operation on him, and he's telling the cops, oh, yeah, I got a lot of cocaine in my house, and I'll buy some cocaine off you, that he would have gotten this sentence, which was just adjudicated today. Trey Radell will have one year of supervised probation and a whopping $250 fine. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, they got him. And will he quit? No, of course not. No, he's going to continue. You know why? Jesus. Turns out Jesus loves Republicans and wants to constantly give them a second chance. Now, he, I, to be fair to Trey Radell, he hasn't talked about Jesus yet, but he's coming. <laughs> Mark my words, Jesus is on his way. Okay. Now, when Democrats do it or black people do it, well, you see how they are, right? right? When Republicans do it, well, come on, man. Everybody sins. Everybody sins, and, and he cooperated with the police, so it's very understandable after he was caught, by the way. Now, here's the final thing you gotta know about Trey Rado. He was busted in October. He just agreed to the plea deal, which is a misdemeanor, by the way, uh, today. In September, a month before he was caught, he voted to make sure we drug test welfare recipients. Uh, 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 <laughs> hey, uh, he said they're getting government money, if you're getting government money, you should be drug tested. Now, some Democrats at the time uh, pointed out, including Representative Jim McGovern, we get government money, maybe they should drug test all the congressmen. Somehow that never made it into the Republican proposals. Funny how that works out. But the guy who had proposed it on the Republican side, Representative Richard Hudson, had said, quote, we have a moral obligation to equip the states with the tools they need to discourage the use of illegal drugs. To which Trey Raydell said, hallelujah. He voted yes on that. Interestingly enough, though, when it comes to him, he doesn't think it's as big a deal. He thinks it's perfect. It's a, it, he just discovered it's a disease. And he needs help with his sickness, and he's going to fight through it with the good help of his family, friends, and I'm sure soon, Jesus. And he will say, firmly ensconced in the United States Congress.